This is my animal webpage. My animal webpage is about the electric eel. The electric eel has many adaptations, but the adaptation I chose was that it was an air, a air breather and not a water breather. The reason not many people know about the air breather one is because a lot of people just know about the electricity one because it is called the electric eel. Most people, most people just know about the electric, uh, the electricity games off. And the water breather, the adaptation allows them to survive in the. It allows them to survive on land and shallow water and deep water. But it is known for the even though most fish are water breathers, the electricity, the electric eel is not a water breather. It is a air breather. It breathes about 80% of the oxygen through its vascular mouth. But the reason it has to go up every 10 minutes is because they live in very low oxygen water. But there is no limit on how much they could breathe. There is no limit on how much they could take in the air. Now, the electric eel is also related to a catfish. Mm -hmm. Right? But not only that, but it could also survive for many hours on land without any water, but it just really depends on how moist their skin is. Adaptation. The adaptations are on the home page. Moving on to fun facts. The fun facts are very interesting, but one of them is that you might think that electric eels are very have very good eyesight, but in fact they don't. They have very terrible eyesight, and if a diver tries to feed one ele one electric eel the electric eel might bite the finger but it won't hurt because they have no teeth and that's for the second page videos and pictures it is very interesting to know how the electric eel breathes every 10 minutes the electric eel breathes by gulping the air and staying there for a couple seconds is an example Video, it was very interesting to know how the electric eel gulps its air. I have this very fun activity where you could see how much you learn from my website. That is on the fifth page. Then we have our references. There is not many references to look at because it is very hard to find the adaptation that I was doing. Even if it was very hard, to look for the adaptation I was doing. It was very interesting and very exciting to research and find new things about the electric eel.